All right, sports fans, we're down to the final four of our Halloween countdown now, our creepy crawly countdown where we're slithering our way towards the big day of Halloween. Yesterday, we looked at Mothra, giant creepy crawly monster. That's right. And we're going to keep this countdown going. What will today's movie be? I swear it feels like there's too many in here, but I know, I know it's not. It's just the way I cut them on, out on big pieces of paper this year. But... We're gonna see what this year's entry is gonna be. I mean, this tonight. Ugh. All right, this is one that I'm sure you probably didn't think about, but again, it is a giant monster movie. Does it fit the theme? Well, it creeps and crawls. It also glides and slides across the floor. We're talking about the blob. Two teenagers at Makeout Point named Steve, played by Steve McQueen, and Jane, played by Annette Corso, see a meteor crash in the nearby woods. They decide to try to find it. The meteor landed in a nearby farmer's backyard. The farmer goes out to take a look and pokes it with a stick. The meteor cracks open and reveals a goo inside. He pokes the goo with his stick too and it quickly oozes up onto his hand. He runs off howling in pain and stumbles right in front of the kid's car. Now take it easy. We'll get you there as fast as we can. They race to the small town doctor's office, and when the doc gets there to inspect it, we find the object has grown bigger. It's now engulfed his entire arm. The kids are joined by three friends, and they all try to find the old man's house to inform the people there what happened. Hello? Doesn't look like there's anybody here at all. The doctor steps away from his patient for a bit to consult with his nurse, and he and the nurse later find the old man gone and the blob now several feet in diameter, having absorbed the man completely. It attacks and absorbs the nurse as well, and the doc, defending himself, discovers that it is impervious to both bullets and acid. Steve and Jane return just in time to see the blob envelop the doctor as well. Steve gets the police, but when they return, the thing is gone. The police don't believe the kid's warning of a monster, thinking they're playing some kind of prank. All right, kid, the show's over. It was a cute act, but this time it didn't work. Meanwhile, the blob begins killing and eating more people. The kids are sent home with their parents, but later sneak back out. Meanwhile, their friends are watching a midnight horror show at the local theater. Steve and Jane convince them to leave the theater to help find the monster. They split up to search, and Steve and Jane find it in the local grocery store. It pursues them, and they hide in the freezer. Things stop short when trying to enter the freezer. The kids head into town to warn the citizens, honking their horns to wake everyone. Air raid sirens go off, and the entire town wakens. The blob oozes into the movie theater and, in one of the most iconic scenes in sci-fi history, the crowd runs screaming from the theater. Can they find a way to stop the blob? This was an independent film released in 1958 and directed by Irvin Yeworth. It's a truly fun sci-fi movie, one of those standards that was on TV when I was a kid, and I have always been a big fan of this one. Hey, I had to include The Blob. This one's so much fun. When I think of 50s monster movies, I think of The Blob. This is one of the first films that I really wanted to get on DVD, and it, it, I don't know that I still do. I think I've only got a VHS copy, but when I was so wanting to buy DVDs early on, this was one of the first ones that came to mind. If I ever get in the Criterion closet, I would pick their Criterion release of The Blob. I actually need a good Blu-ray or DVD copy of this because it's so much fun. Again, another perfect drive-in movie. You got your hot riding teens, you got your giant monster and uh, the townspeople not believing the kids and you know, it's a lot of fun. So, The Blob. Also, the first movie where someone ever makes the fatal mistake of poking something with a stick. Poke it with a stick. When in doubt, poke it with a stick, right? Yeah, it never works out. I've seen Creepshow. I know how it works out. 
four skulls, the blob. It's a good one. You could even go five if you want to give it an extra star for Steve McQueen and how classic it is. But I'll, I'll go four. I'll go four skulls on the blob. How would you rate the blob? Creeps and crawls for sure and glides and slides across the floor. See you tomorrow night, Fright fans. Ha <laughs> ha!